Dude, is this Womp's Fortress? I don't know what this is. It's Womp's Fortress. Is it? I don't know. What's Womp's Fortress? What game is that? Mario from? 64. No, it's not. No, it isn't. <laughs> what are you it fucking looks like the tower. Smoking? It looked like the tower. You've lost it. You've lost your fucking marble. <laughs> uh, Mario How the fuck 64? do I swim again? Mario 64 is the blueprint for every game ever made. It's a fact. Even uh, Doom Eternal? Yes. Because the game's hard. You know what's as hard? Mario 64. Mm. You know what's as hard? Me while I'm playing Mario 64. Exactly. There you go. See, they even there you go. blueprint for your erection. Thank it you. Was, it came out 20 years before you were born. I was conceived to that game, actually. <laughs> On Rainbow Ride? Yep. <laughs> Getting all 120 stars. My parents were... Best nut. We're trying to get to... Get all 100 coins in TikTok clock. And <laughs> they were just having a break because that level was so hard. And, you know, that's how life was created. You know? Disgusting. Thank you. That's what I'm here for, baby. I, uh... I'm like, so behind on my games at the moment. I've started playing- No, I did tell you, I've started playing games again on my own. I, uh, I, I picked up Doom Eternal again to, nice. to after four months, so the, the, I think I got it for Christmas? Or my birthday, I can't quite remember. Um, and it's been like that whole time of either four to six months has been one game. Right, okay. I finally beat it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I only had to change the difficulty once. Right, and we, what difficulty are you playing on? Normal. Okay. So I was I was actually funny funny you say that I was actually watching my friend play Doom Eternal last night. Yeah. And one of you were lying. Mm. So it is either yep. he's lying in saying that he said that the only way that you can get Nightmare and Nightmare Plus yeah is by beating the game and doing new and Nightmare and Ultra Nightmare is by beating the game and getting new game plus. So the highest difficulty that you can start off is normal. But then you've just said I don't know I'm asking you. One of you is lying, though. I thought it was, like, easy... <laughs> I'm taking it malicious... I thought malicious it was... <laughs> I thought it was easy, medium, hard, and then Nightmare and Ultra Nightmare, which I wouldn't even consider. Because isn't Ultra Nightmare the one where you die, and then you you die in real life? Is that, isn't that how yeah, it works? That is, yeah, that is that one. I believe. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain. Oh, I have to fucking suck this into the ground. I, I thought, yeah, normal was, like, no. always what I pick. Because, like, easy is too easy, and hard is not good enough. Right. So I just go normal, and that way I feel... But there was only one section of the game I had to change it to easy, because it was just so fucking bullshit. I was like, I was watching my friend play last night, and one, that game looks fucking sick. Get... Stop, camera! <laughs> Work right. with me here. It's fine. Um, I hate the fucking water levels. Oh, I hate this shit. Oh, wait. I got it. Is he the game of God? No, I fucked it. No, I didn't. Suck my dick. Amazing. Um, Dude, that's just straight up Womp's Fortress. Maybe they d designed it based They've on They've even got Womp's the Fortress. fucking pink bob -ons. Dude, maybe they designed it based on Womp's I Fortress. I can't believe Nintendo ripped that? off their own game. Isn't, yeah, believe that. <laughs> isn't there one- is it in this one or Mario Galaxy 2 that has Throwback Galaxy that's like, literally Womp's Fortress? I never played Throwback Galaxy, which means it has to be 2. Hmm. Um, it's cool, no, there's like literally a level that is just straight up. Like, this is like a sort of homage to it. Yeah. That one is straight up just Womp's Fortress. I'm telling you, when I was speedrunning that game, I played a lot of Womp's Fortress. Yeah. This does not this look not anything <laughs> like Womp's Fortress. <laughs> Those are not pink bob -ums. God, my... Octorox. My eyesight, man. For my Octo... Uh, um... Yeah, no, here's my game theory, right? I think that, the, like, the difficulty that people, like, play their games on and prefer their games on... Yep. ...is, like, how they like to fucking exist in life. <laughs> Normal. <laughs> right? I think, I think it just says a lot about you as a person, Doesn't in my it? opinion. I think, I think I can... It's like, um... It's my version of horoscopes, right? Yeah. The difficulty that you play video games on. That's interesting. I say that because, like... I think that, like, if you're someone that, like... Because I don't think anyone's, like, just naturally comes out the womb being able to fucking... Just fuck Doom Eternal and Ultra Nightmare. Like, I don't think that that exists. Yeah. I may be incorrect. There might be some gamer gods in the comments that are like, No, I actually, I have no arms and I beat Doom Eternal and Ultra Nightmare. You're just shit. I'm gonna um, comment that exact thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, can you fucking not? Thank you. Um, but yeah, like, so it takes a certain amount of, like, trial and error. And I think if, if you're someone that plays it on, like, Ultra Nightmare or Nightmare, you know, you're someone that has, like, a lot of determination. Yeah. Alright? 
I think, and I think if it's, it's easy, you like to enjoy the nice things in life. I reckon I could make like a full book talking about like what your difficulty in video <laughs> games says about your personality. Just real general assumptions that are all like sort of good, so then everybody can sort of relate to them. Yeah, like horoscopes, right? Yeah, no, yeah. Where it's like it's completely general, but mm. they're like, oh my god, that's so bad. I'm because they're such all a Taurus. Sort of, yeah. <laughs> well, I actually am a Taurus, so. I know you are. Thank you. Um, I'm as long as they're all sort of positive. Because, like, no one, you know the thing, horoscopes would be dead tomorrow <laughs> if, like, the horoscopes came out and it was like, if you, if you're a Sagittarius and your moon's in rising, you hate, you hate Asian people. <laughs> and we'll be like, whoa, whoa. I it's think like, you'd find a lot of people that'd be like, oh my god, that's so me. <laughs> <laughs> I've it's never like, understood You're extremely, it. extremely sexist. You're like, whoa, okay, hold on. Dude, it was the moon. <laughs> it wasn't like, me. You have giant fucking labias. You have giant wing <laughs> flaps if you're a Taurus. You watch, they would drop that shit like it was fucking hot. Hot fucking mashed potatoes, baby. I can't, hold, not, not, as much as I love to dunk on horoscopes, I really like your, uh, your difficulty. Is that a Pokeball? It is a Pokeball. Nah, I don't know. I said, like, that's a Pokeball, but that's not what <laughs> it is. Um, I really like your, uh, difficulty assumption. What, what do you normally play on, if given the choice? Uh, the one right below the hardest. So normal. Or the hardest. Normal. Oh, the hardest. Not like, hard. The no, hardest. No, yeah, the hardest. What the fuck is wrong so with all, you? Or hardest. What is wrong with you? Because I hate myself. No, you know what the thing is? Is because like I like really steep learning curves, but I have a really small attention span. Right? <laughs> no, it's genuinely. So like, I've noticed like, so like games like Sekiro, right? Yeah. I will throw myself into them full speed fucking. And I, I love that game. Do not get me wrong. Like I, I adore that game. And like, I got I got really obsessed with like getting like really good and getting the mechanics down and I wanted to beat it the right way um, and do all this shit. Um, and, uh, but then after like three weeks, I'll just drop it completely and go on to something else. Yeah. So I like hitting, you know how there's that bell curve of like learning shit? Yeah. Where it's that like, real steep at the start and then just like peters off. Yeah. I like getting like to the top of that bell curve and then instead of like reaping the rewards of all of the hard works <laughs> I bored. put in, I just get bored and <laughs> yeah. fucking go do something else. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's my normal approach to gameplay. You've already said that you're a, you're a normal man. I respect that. I've spoken before. Did you actually how finish the game? I try <laughs> to finish the game, okay, but it takes me. You know, literally, since I think since a year ago of BS, right? And you can quote me if you if you go back and check May last year. Since then, I think the only games I've beaten and played: Last of Us Two, Hat in Time, and Doom Eternal. That's it. Last of Us Two is a pretty big game. That took me six months to beat. I'll pay that. Genuinely, Ooh. that's a long time. Yeah. Because I hated a hot it. Second. I hated you hated every it. Minute of it. Wait, yeah. what? But like, I thought I'm you like, didn't mind it. I thought you were like mid on it. In retrospect, I I, I appreciate it. But it, while I was playing it, I fucking hated it. Nah, you know what? Fuck that. If you ha if you have to like go back on your own opinion while you're playing the game, you've been gaslit by the fucking <laughs> internet into liking it. Nah, you know what? Because I had the exact same thing with the fucking new Doctor Strange movie. That movie oh, yeah. fucking sucked. Did that it? movie sucked my fucking cock. That is the worst movie I've seen in so long. I refuse to be gaslit. I'm sitting there and I'm with my mates and they're like, you know, it's not that bad. Like, it wasn't the best movie ever. And then I'm thinking to myself, you know what, maybe it's not that- No, fuck that! The movie sucked. Alright, it's the same with those fucking games. If you're playing it and you're not enjoying it at the time, the game fucking sucked. You, you will, I will refuse to let you be gaslit into liking that game. Oh my god. Well, I was going to ask you how, if you've seen Doctor Strange. It fucking sucks! I didn't think it was bad. I hated it. I hate it. I refuse to let you fucking make oh, me I want to know why okay. you hated it, but it's too, it's too early. We haven't, like, quite done the spoilers. No, 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 no. I'm not going to spoil it. I can say it without spoiling it. <laughs> this is the metaphor I use with my friends that was extremely cringy with them because they're normal people, but this is the internet, so yeah. this is pretty much par for the course here. I, I, I gave Doctor Strange... Here, I have... I've, here's my fucking three-pronged approach to why that movie fucking sucked. <laughs> One, the cinematography is fucking dog shit. The shots <laughs> in that movie are laughable. I have seen fucking PowerPoint presentations with better fucking... I've seen PowerPoint presentations with better transitions. I was waiting for the fucking <laughs> dissolve effect to come up on the screen. I swear to God, there were like star transitions. You know the shit that they did in Star Wars because that was physically yeah. the only thing they had? <laughs> That was what they were fucking using. I hate those unbelievable like, things in Star Wars, but it's like so charming. So, so shot comp as well, like yep. as a part of that, 
all cinematography. They, that, there's this fucking stupid jump scare bit where they're fucking they're panning to their faces, and I don't know whether or not they were trying to be like funny and ironic with it, or if they were in, like actually trying to make it fucking scary. But it was so fucking jarring. It just pulled me right out. It was fucking dog shit. It's the one where they're in the thing. Yeah, I know. And what they, you're yeah, about. they're exactly. doing the thing. Because it was so fucking awful, man. It was so like telegraphed i was like ugh. and you know what the some of the line delivery was fucking awful yeah the only fucking time, awful uh, i'm not, like without spoiling anything yeah. i'm just gonna go fortify your minds and tell me <laughs> that that doesn't fucking cave you bro it's stupid bro and that's the director's job that is not the actor's job do another fucking take the line's goofy bro you've made it sound shit reread it okay oh my god my second major issue. I'm sorry. This is just this. This <laughs> BS just turns into movie review. I love it. I don't when you like hate talking. Things. I hate it so much, I dude. I love it. I hate it so it's much. So funny. Okay. My second thing, <laughs> and this is the this is the example I use. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> fuck this. I'm dying. Oh my god. What? This is the ex this is the exact <laughs> example I use with my friends. Okay. That movie's plot uh. was like like really shit dick. Okay. <laughs> it was really really bad fucking pipe. My balls. Okay. <laughs> What what would happen is is the movie would go in, okay? Oh. It would fucking bust its fucking load. Would go in, go so hard for thirty seconds, right? Just fucking bust its load everywhere, okay? Just prematurely everywhere, and then like thirty seconds later, it would just get fucking straight back into it. Instead of like a normal good movie where you slowly, gradually build into the plot, have like a nice climax and then finish it off. They rushed into a fucking plot. They resolved it in fucking three seconds. It meant nothing because they didn't build it up right, and then it fucking tanked when they got there because it had no fucking context behind it. And then they moved immediately onto the next point. They fucking added characters just to kill them for shock value, and they didn't build them up right. So it was a fucking shocking. It was just shit. <laughs> They wasted him! It was wasted opportunity! It was dog shit! <laughs> and the th my third thing is the movie didn't know what it wanted to be. I can't believe it. didn't. <laughs> Morbius did not inspire this no, movie. No, it fuck. I would watch Morbius again before I would watch that movie. Jesus. It fucking sucked. Um. Fuck. It's so funny. I thought it was fine. Jeez. No, dude. No, I refused. Okay. No, hold on. And there's one more yeah, thing. Yeah, go. Just yeah. Let, get you it finish, out. let you finish. My last thing is, is the movie just didn't know what it wanted to be, man. It had no idea. It didn't know whether or not it wanted to be this weird acid trip, or if it wanted to link it to like the rest of the Marvel universe, or it wanted to be like a horror film. Um, and because of that, like. There were points where they were trying to make it this serious film. There were points where they were trying to link it into the greater MCU. And there were points where they were trying to make it the ha-ha goofy Marvel film. And because they did all of these things, they tried to juggle all of these balls and they didn't do it, like, well. The movie just came off like it didn't know what it wanted to do. And I felt... Have you ever heard of the term jumping the shark? Yeah. Like the... the like fucking... Batman. <laughs> yeah. What? Like Batman? That's where, isn't that where it comes from? The 60s no, Batman? No, it comes from fucking... Wait, I thought it came from Fonzie. Yeah, maybe it did. No, I'm um, thinking of the shark, but sh uh, shark repellent. Never mind. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, no. It's a, it's a thing from... Um, um, <laughs> I'm from forgetting Batman. what the show is called. Fucking idiot. <laughs> forgetting what the show is called, but it has the Fonzie in it, and there's this one episode he jumps a shark on skis. Yeah. Like he jumps over a shark on skis. Oh, yeah, that might... Yeah, that would probably um, be it. And yeah, and it, like it, it's used in media to represent like they've officially run out of ideas. And they're just doing shit for like shock value now. Yeah. And, like they've lost, like they've lost, like um, they've lost uh, what's it called? Like they've lost substance. This is what I'm yeah, trying to yeah. say. I don't know why I thought it was the shock repellent. <laughs> I just think that that's that scene is so ridiculous, but it's also like completely in line with '60s Batman. Mm. So like, is it? It's probably not jumping the shark. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Yes. No, no, that's Please it. Please continue. That's it. That's my review. The music was so alright. You, you liked it? Yeah. No, no, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you beat it as you uh I died many times. I lost countless times. That was pretty good. When I was younger, I used to think that the times the best times at the bottom mm. were like the world record. It so is, then if yeah. I like beat it, I was like, dude, I'm the fastest yeah. in the world. You are right now currently the speedrun champion of this one level of Mario Galaxy. Thank you, yeah. How's it feel? Oh fucking great, man. This is it just relieved all of my pain that we were just talking about. Okay, can we keep talking about Doctor Strange next episode? Oh yeah, yeah, go, 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 yeah, yeah, go. I'm gonna right. spoil the shit out of it, no I'm not. <laughs> I will, but I won't. Can you what? Alright, see you guys then. <laughs>